It's the last day of Moshe Shwe walk in Lesotho. It's been an incredible journey for hundreds of walkers from the Mountain Kingdom and many other countries. SABC reporter Kylie Lekumalo and video journalist at Brabi Njogweni have more for us. It's been a very invigorating three days here in Lesotho, traversing across the beautiful scenery of uh, the Mountain Kingdom. It's all about Mushesha Walk. So today it's a day of culmination. Let's hear from the founder how has the journey been? You know, so many passionate hikers from all over the world in Lesotho, in South Africa, so many flags being hoisted. Tawa, thank you so much once again for your time. Tell us about uh, this day. I mean, obviously it takes a lot of time to put everything together together the significance now it's the last mile yes yes it's the last mile and, and yeah it has been tough we had a long journey we started at Mengwane in 31 case we did uh, 30 54 yesterday we started three after three in the morning we finished 10 o'clock at night it was very tough imagine it's very hot but i think the most important part of this this for this journey, to me, it means a lot because you can imagine if Kim Mushoshu was going with the kids, old people, cattle, and everything, and they took nine days, how tough it was. But on the other hand, we have took three days, but we fought cattle, we fought old people, but we made it through. But I think the most important part again, you understand the journey, that's when you talk to yourself, you imagine how tough it was there were cannibals there were lots of things that were happening on the way they ate his grandfather and left only his collar bones and the most important part that i'm trying to say is this what a sacrifice for Kim Mushosha the first mm. because it's not because of that sacrifice we have this country which is God so they arrive at night here Tababusim. we are left a few kilometers to reach us Tababusim. yes it was sunny and we never had the rain for the first time in the history of Mushosha walk but because of the history, the ideologies, the, 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 the Mushashe always said he's the sister, his sister is peace because he loved his people. He didn't want people to be separated because of their tribes, because of their different uh, uh, vernacular languages. He said, These are my people. Kasa Soto, he said, Oscar Humora Moradoe. So it is a very important, you don't have to say somebody, somebody is coming from, he's a Kosa, he's a Zulu, he's, you know, all people belongs to him. And when he arrives at, at Tababasib, he said, all the people that are coming here are my people, are Basotho. No matter language that you speak, Botswana or whatever, it's Basotho. That's when he formed the nation, which is called Basotho. And lots of people came to Tababusib, even white people, the missionaries, they went to Mushashu for, uh, for, protection, for protection because it means a lot to us as Basotho. So we are celebrating 200 years. We are proud that we have this country, which is landlocked by South Africa. Today we stand here and said, we are celebrating 200 years by centenary. And it's, it's, a, it's a rich history about, even when you talk about uh, with Mandela, when he, after, the, after he came from prison, he said, let's do the Rainbow Nation. Those are the ideology of Kim Mushoshu the first. And when Zimbabwe gave the independence, Mkomo and, and, uh, and Mugabe, they said, let's sit together as Africans. We have different language, some are Ndebele, some are Shonas, but we are one people, we are Zimbabweans. Let's fight for our country, let's stick together and to build our country. Mm. Today we are proud because of those ideologies of Kim Mushashwe, we have this country, which is called Lesotho. A milestone, I mean, 200 years, and obviously you've had your own fair share of challenges, political instability every so often, but things, you know, look quite stable now. And um, I mean, I would imagine this is part of the plans of marking the 200 years, as we know that throughout the year, you, you're going to have quite a number of planned activities uh, to celebrate uh, this incredible, uh, momentous time for Lesotho. Yes, you know, I think the challenges that we had after such a long journey, moving camp to other place, camp, you move the camp from this side, you take it to another place, you take it to another place, and even food and everything, I think that's the challenge. Because some, we arrive at night, we couldn't get food because they're still preparing the food because of moving camps. Apart from that, it's a milestone. Because after such a long, long journey, up, the preparations and everything, now we are smiling, I said, we are almost home. I think that's the most important part. Yes, 
as 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 people that are workers, there were some injuries there and there, and people were dehydrated because of the sun, and it was too hot. And the most important part, we made it through. We worked as a team. Uh, stick to each other all the way from the beginning as Mosheshwa did with these people there is no, there's no race here we work together we finish together mm. from the start to the end so thank you so much indeed for your time so the founder here really just telling us more about uh, the importance of today as you know that it's the last day today so it's blistering hot in Lesotho and it's been such a very energy sapping journey but uh, this is the culmination point Kylie Kumala SABC News Lesotho